What is going on, my fine folks of YouTube? This is MK The Truth, D O D B E N T. Got some of my archives for us to take a look at today. If you guys are new to this channel, please, you gotta come on and join the squad. Also, connect to my Instagram. It is the underscore truth underscore MK. Also, ladies and gentlemen, all music is produced by me, D O D B, and I use them as background music on this channel. So. Like I told you guys before, I will be reeling back some of the, you know what, and I will be going into my archives. Yes, my retail archives. And I got a lot that you need to see. But I wanted to start with this particular shoe because I got a small question. Was this the Travis Scott before the Travis Scott? And that sneaker I'm talking about is the Air Jordan 7 Pata. Now, I know some of you might be like, oh, that's a, I don't like that shoe. That shoe is ugly. I like it. I love it. It's a beautiful looking sneaker. Anyway, I love the art on the box. Makes you feel like you're getting more uh, for your money. And this is a dope box. I just love how they put that shoe on top of the box. Very, very dope. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into what we got. Keep in mind, this is my authentic archives. Love the Jordan 7 inspired paper. Very nice funky design on the paper and let's get into the shoe man so like i said i just wanted to kind of ask and you know some of you might be thinking or you might have been thinking before saw the shoe again and started thinking again was this the travis scott before the travis scott well this would have been a great travis scott seven anyway this is the pattern i want to show this shoe for what it is not really link the two together but i thought it would be make for an interesting title to a video but these were very very dope there's just one thing i didn't really care for on the shoe and that was the pata uh, logo on the bottom but i have grown to actually really like it a lot it kind of separates the shoe because if you would have done this sneaker just in this color it would just look like a normal edge or seven but when you're from afar you know that's a pata edge or seven anyway beautiful material on the shoe the utilization of the beautiful new buck was just that's what grabbed me and you guys know i am a huge fan of very nice new bucks i just love the contrast of new buck on the sneaker you have this very nice mocha heels or mountains on the shoe i forget what these represent with the mountains uh, on the sneaker of course you have the perforations with the beautiful uh, cream or whatever you want to call it uh, on the mid and the quarter panels go ahead check out that material very thick cut new bucks get up close on that bad boy beautiful beautiful I love that they went with the black although maybe white uh, maybe white no black is good black is good anyway flip around to the front you have a sort of a satinish tongue leading up to the edge on the tongue you have metal ag uh, aglets or oh, brown it's like a brown yeah well, it was a brown uh, metal aglet up there flip around to the boot you got the beautiful 23 on the boot which i always loved about the edge or seven and then you have team pata written in like a uh, 8-bit font i call it 8-bit font anyway take out the shoe tree and then you have the chocolate jump boy on the inside. Of course, I stay true to size in my sevens. Maybe can go up because it kind of a, a little bit on the narrow side could kind of go up to 11 and a half. But I do stay with 11. If you did not know this, I don't think this was the first time they did the Hirachi booty. Was the Hirachi booty first introduced in the seven or was it just the Hirachi? And then he put the Hirachi booty in the seven. I can't remember uh, what it was. Anyway, classic Air Jordan seven tongue. Very nice. You got that classic design. Uh, feels kind of cheap, but that's it's a performance uh, booty on the inside. So you can't really be too mad at that. And then if you got if you look on the medial side, you got that pattern written once again with this sort of a light cream. Uh, and this like coffee uh, padded logo. I just love the blends of colors on this sneaker. I love the the chocolate with the mocha. And then you got like the coffee. That's a beautiful sound, ain't it? Chocolate, mocha, coffee. <clears throat> anyway, man, fire sneaker. Let's take a look at this other shoe right quick. 
I love my archives, man. I got so much. I got so much to show y'all. Aside from, I've been thinking about um, just reeling back a lot for a long time, and um, I'm I'm coming to that conclusion of reeling back a little bit on the other stuff, and then uh, bring you guys some of the stuff that I have. And we're gonna start with this because it reminds me of a Travis Scott. Anyway, I thought this was also dope. The addition of the hang tag with the over exaggerated hang tag with the jump boy jumping out the hang tag very very dope addition just some nice different things to a sneaker that you wouldn't normally see and that's what uh gravitated me to this sneaker overall just the differences in all of the nice things that they have on the shoe nothing else uh much i can say about the shoe love the materials love the materials has some of the most can't say premium because i don't know it has some really good quality materials on the shoe and that's why uh, i've always loved the edge Jordan 7 pattern and it reminds me of something that travis scott would have done to a seven so i wanted to ask you guys what y'all think the travis scott before the travis scott i think of a sickle mode and i'm not really into collaborations like that if you do a sickle mode face like up here and then do Cactus Jack on the back. Because I do like his logo. I do like that logo. I think these would have been even more fire. But these are fire as is. Let me know what y'all think about these down below. This is MK The Truth. D-O-D-B-E-N-T. Hey man, I love y'all. I'm out.